Hi guys, Mr. Ruffle Waffles here. Early Descent gameplay right now on your screen. Couple of quotes from Oz. Have a listen. There we go. Some minor adjustments and everything is working again. Let's count all this right, one all right, down. All right. Ten, nine, eight, seven, three, two, one. <laughs> Malicious presence in teleport systems. Malicious presence indeed. Oz teleports you to this sort of arena, I suppose, at round 13, and keeps you here for the entire round. While you're in this room, couple of interesting things to note. For starters, you don't get any points for shooting zombies. You do, however, want to be shooting Oz as much as possible, because when his door opens, he's vulnerable for a very short amount of time, there are four doors, and once you shoot all of them, you basically beat the round. That's how you do it. If you fail to shoot Oz, then chances are you're going to die in here because he's going to keep looping these tasks ahead of you, and you're not going to be able to get out of the room. You're going to run out of ammo, or you're going to run out of patience, <laughs> and either way, you're going to die. So this is maybe our second or third attempt at the map, I don't remember really now. The red grid above us will disable our exosuits if we jump into it. So for now, we're stranded on the floor. We've got to stay down here and try and survive, which isn't too difficult seeing as we've only shot Oz a little so far. When we start getting further towards the end of it, when it's the last door, for example, that's when things start getting pretty hairy. But you can see we're getting ready to shoot Oz here, and there you go, door opens, Angie opens the door for us, and we then pile into him, there's an explosion, and we know that that stage is complete, and we can move on to the next one. You can actually see we've now got two burning windows, and so we're getting there, we're halfway there, I suppose. The next stage is more difficult, the floor is electrocuted, and so that will obviously mess you up if you're standing on it for too long, so you're going to want to stand on the platforms, as you can see I'm doing here, or you can stand on where the Atlas logo was just then. You'll notice that that wasn't electrocuted either. And that will be safe floor for you to stand on as long as you watch your step. I really recommend that you take out the sentries ASAP. And also remember that you're not going to get back to Oz straight away after that one task when you're on the third window. That's what we're on now. And we're all getting ready to shoot him. But we didn't realize that there would be a lot more ahead of us before we could actually do so. So... First of all, Oz gives us the infected pillars, and the decontam pad is in the middle of the room. So if you do get infected, don't fret, don't worry, it's going to be okay. It's really easy to decontaminate. Just jump in the middle of the room, and it's the same as usual. Bish, bash, bosh, job done. Now also, you're going to want to be listening to the sound, because it's the sound, really, that lets you know when Oz's window has opened up, and that is going to be the defining factor on whether you can actually make it out of this room or not. If you don't shoot Oz, like I said, you're not going to make it out of here. And so you need to take the opportunities you're presented with to actually kill him. <laughs> that is the sound of Oz becoming available to shoot. And so we all jump on the pillar and start throwing those bullets his way. The explosion happens and we know that we're on to the last bit. We're so nearly there. It gets a little hairy, like I was saying, but as long as you keep your cool, you will be able to do it. Couple of things you might want to remember while you're doing this final bit. Firstly, your money. Your money in here is weird because you'll do things and you won't realize that you're not earning any money for it. You'll be shooting zombies and killing zombies and you're not getting cash. And so if you're trying to do things like buy contact grenades constantly or upgrade your gun to get more ammo, because ammo does become a problem in this room, you may find that your wallet ends up being empty a bit sooner than you thought. Another thing, like I've already mentioned, is killing those sentries and turrets as soon as is really damn useful. And another tip that I would say is when you are actually playing, use those max ammos. They drop, you can see I just aimed at it just then. They drop and they're available for you to grab, so grab them. It's not for the whole team, it's just for you, but if they're there, why not use them? The same sentiment goes for the drops that you get outside this room. Things like calling in sentinel reinforcements, maybe an assault drone, maybe a turret. 
use those drops. So many people are stingy with their drops and they don't use them and then they die and they wonder why they didn't use them. Better to be safe than sorry in every case. So just grab the drop, use the drop, and it'll make your life much more easy. There are other things I could say too, like make sure you have good guns before you come in this room. And some people might say, well, that sort of depends on your box luck, doesn't it? Well, to some extent, yes, it's always nice to have a Cell 3 or a Trident or guns like that. The S12 is great, but you don't necessarily need the best guns in the world to be able to do this. Anyhow, we get to the fourth window, Angie opens it up, we rain hell on Oz, and what do you know, we complete the round. We get a full reload, and you actually earn an achievement for it. It's called Smooth Operator, and the description is Defeat Oz in Descent. He's not dead though, as you'll hear in a moment. Beforehand, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. I have been Mr. Ruffle Waffles. Please subscribe and like the video if you are new, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Three, two, one. I know it. Yes! You think it's over? It's not over.